environment is an intricate and multifaceted system that encompasses living organisms, natural resources, and physical elements that are indispensable for life on Earth to flourish. Regrettably, human activity has had a profound and far-reaching impact on the environment, resulting in a plethora of environmental problems that pose a threat to the planet's survival. It is imperative to comprehend the magnitude of the problem and take urgent and decisive measures to address the issues caused by human activity to safeguard our environment. This article aims to shed light on some of the significant environmental challenges engendered by human activity, commencing with deforestation. Deforestation, how human activity is inadvertently ravaging forests and natural habitats. Deforestation is an environmental problem that arises from human activity, particularly activities such as logging, urbanisation and agriculture. Forests, especially tropical rainforests, are home to a diverse array of plant and animal species and play a pivotal role in carbon sequestration. Regrettably, human activities have led to the degradation and loss of these natural habitats, culminating in the extinction of numerous plant and animal species. The Amazon rainforest serves as a quintessential example of the impact of deforestation engendered by human activity. Vast swathes of the forest are being cleared for agriculture and pasture lands, which has had a catastrophic effect on the ecosystem. As the tropical rainforest is cleared, the carbon stored in the trees is released into the atmosphere, exacerbating global warming. Deforestation is not only detrimental to the environment, but also to human health, as the destruction of the forest leads to soil degradation, diminished water quality and other related issues. To redress the damage wrought by deforestation, it is crucial to address the root cause of environmental issues engendered by human activity. This necessitates an understanding of the impact of our actions on the environment and taking proactive steps to mitigate their effects. Climate change – How human activity is disrupting global climate patterns Climate change is another pressing and exigent environmental issue that arises from human activity. The augmented levels of greenhouse gases, primarily carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere from the combustion of fossil fuels are the principal cause of global warming. The ramifications of climate change are far-reaching and have a profound impact on the environment, including rising sea levels, more frequent natural disasters and alterations in ecosystems. The recent wildfires in Australia, Brazil and the United States serve as examples of the impact of climate change on the environment. The exceedingly hot and arid conditions have facilitated the ignition and spread of fires, culminating in a loss of biodiversity, habitat destruction and human displacement. To mitigate the impact of climate change, it is imperative to reduce our carbon footprint and transition to renewable energy sources. This necessitates individuals and governments to take proactive steps to address the root cause of the problem – and implement policies and programmes to curtail greenhouse gas emissions. Pollution – How human activity is contaminating the air, water and soil Pollution is another major environmental issue engendered by human activity. The release of pollutants from industrial, transportation and agricultural activities has led to the contamination of air, water and soil. This pollution not only impinges on human health, but also damages ecosystems and threatens the survival of numerous plant and animal species. An exemplary instance of the impact of pollution engendered by human activity is the elevated levels of air pollution in many cities worldwide. The pollutants from cars, factories and other sources have led to respiratory problems and other health issues for the population. Additionally, pollutants from industrial activities and agricultural runoffs have contaminated rivers, lakes and oceans, culminating in the death of fish and other marine organisms. To address pollution, it is essential to identify the sources of the pollutants and reduce or eliminate them. Governments and industries can take proactive measures to curtail emissions and promote sustainable practices. At the individual level, we can make conscious choices to reduce our consumption and ensure proper disposal of waste. The detrimental effects of human activity on ecosystems and wildlife have been demonstrated through the loss of biodiversity. 
Irresponsible actions have led to the destruction and pollution of critical habitats, such as forests and wetlands, which has caused many plant and animal species to lose their homes, some of which may be forced into extinction. The result of such disruption is far-reaching and crucial, as it has reduced the provision of essential ecosystem services fundamental for human survival. A notable example of the impact of the loss of biodiversity generated by human activity is the reduction of bee populations globally. Bees are essential for pollination in many natural ecosystems and for the production of agriculture, and their loss may cause a ripple effect, further detrimental to the ecosystem. Widespread destruction of habitats for bees and depletion of their food sources have led to a steady decline in their population. To resolve the loss of biodiversity, proactive measures must be taken to protect and conserve natural habitats, forestall any more contamination and damage of ecosystems, and decrease pollution from various activities. Subsequently, individuals, governments and industries must work together to achieve these goals. Overfishing is a grave environmental issue, consequential to human activity, predominantly in marine ecosystems. An alarming increase in demand for seafood has exacerbated the harmful repercussions of overfishing, culminating in the depletion of multiple fish populations and subsequent marine habitat calamities. This appalling trend not only impairs food security, but also has severe economic and broader environmental consequences. For instance, plummeting fish populations disturb the balance of the ecosystem on a global scale, affecting industries that rely on fishing, such as tourism and seafood production, leading to disastrous outcomes. Furthermore, the pernicious effects of overfishing extend to the extent of marine habitat's destruction, prompting the loss of biodiversity and impacting the resilience of marine ecosystems, which is a serious concern. To address the perils emerging from the excesses of overfishing, it is paramount to regulate fishing practices and propound appropriate solutions for sustainable fishing methods. Governments can implement policies to curtail fishing quotas and restrict fishing methods that inflict harm on marine ecosystems while promoting alternatives such as aquaculture. Consumers can also adopt an informed and conscientious approach to choose sustainably sourced seafood and reduce their overall consumption thereby ensuring a sustainable future for marine ecosystems. Urbanisation, an immensely concerning environmental issue plaguing human activity, has severe repercussion on landscapes and ecosystems. With rising populations, an exponential need arises for land to bolster infrastructure and build cities to accommodate surging demands. This prompts deforestation, soil degradation and loss of natural habitats as consequences, culminating in far-reaching consequences on the environment and human well-being of alarming proportions. As the cities expand, they contribute towards higher instances of air and water pollution, escalated waste generation and increased energy consumption. Furthermore, urbanisation leads to the notorious urban sprawl, which devastates wildlife, biodiversity and undermines the ecological sustainability. The deleterious consequences of urbanisation are harrowing. To address the menacing impact of urbanisation on the environment, strategising for better urban planning, sustainable urban development practices and green spaces promotion become paramount. This entails a collaborative approach with city planners, policymakers and architects to implement smart growth strategies, limiting urban sprawl and reducing energy consumption, thereby procuring a sustainable future. The gravity of the situation demands an urgent, uncompromising approach towards tackling environmental issues. The extent of human activity's impact on the environment is profound, with far-reaching consequences that are impossible to ignore. Should we fail to nip the problem in the bud, the aftermath could wreak havoc on future generations, rendering the earth inhabitable. The ominous prospect is exacerbated by the rapid escalation of world population, which has resulted in an upsurge in demand for energy and resources. This stark reality accentuates the pressing need for sustainability and transitioning to using renewable sources of energy. 
It is paramount that we take aggressive, concerted measures to limit the impact of human activity on the environment such that future generations inherit an Earth that is sustainable and habitable. This calls for a proactive and resolute approach to abating environmental degradation, recognising and combating the root causes without delay. The significance of individuals in protecting the environment cannot be stressed enough. Whilst governments and policymakers have a pivotal role in fighting environmental degradation, individuals' actions remain crucial. By conscientiously making choices that are in line with sustainable practices, individuals can contribute towards reducing their carbon footprint. This involves taking inconspicuous actions like reducing energy consumption, using public transportation and recycling. A collective effort of this magnitude multiplied by several magnitudes over can have a profound impact on arresting environmental degradation. The ramifications of these efforts can resonate far and wide, epitomising think globally, act locally, as individual actions culminate in wider spread awareness, leading to a palpable shift in people's attitudes towards environmental sustainability. The role of governments in addressing environmental issues is indispensable, enlisting policies and programmes that foster sustainable practices and curtail the deleterious impact of human activity on the environment. Governments can achieve this by instituting regulations that cap greenhouse gas emissions, advance energy efficiency and safeguard natural habitats, amongst others. A concerted, unified front by governments, prioritising the planet's well-being over short-term gains, is imperative to combat these multifaceted, spiralling environmental issues. Collaborative, far-sighted governance that puts aside political differences to actively tackle issues is vital to ensure that our planet is bequeathed to future generations in a habitable, verdant form. The onus is squarely on the governments, individually and collectively, to galvanise global leadership to combat setbacks to our environment and craft sustainable pathways that will save our planet. In summary, human endeavour has spiralled towards several multifaceted environmental issues that have besetting implications on our planet's well-being. Climate change, pollution, biodiversity depletion, overfishing and urbanisation are a mere drop in the ocean of issues that need immediate and concerted action to halt their growth. Empowering individuals and governments worldwide to take proactive measures is the need of the hour. Prioritising sustainability, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting the natural habitat and resources and safeguarding the planet's well-being above momentary economic interests must not be downplayed. Cohesive, united approaches towards environmental issues that require immediate attention are paramount. This necessitates close-knit, globally collaborative measures to fight for the survival of our planet a sustainable, habitable habitat that future generations can thrive on. By scaling collective action now, the vision of a verdant, sustainable planet is within our ambit.